I report. Welcome back. Charles and I settled into the booth ready for quarter number three. It's the Eagles ready to see the football first, and they trail here as we resume action in this third quarter. No run back here to begin the half, and we will start at the 25-yard line. offense set to begin their next drive and they do trail but they have a chance to possess the football first to try and do something about it and that certainly makes it something of an important drive for them because is it going to win the game no but you have to do something to bring some life to your sideline and they get him down but not before he takes it across the 40 yard line you can just kind of sense the momentum turning here it's first and 10 throwing his hurts it's a short one here, complete to his tight end. Seven yards to pick up there. Brandon, perfect defense in this situation would have meant that there was an incompletion that would have picked it off. Okay, so they gave up the completion. But I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync, stayed in great communication. And as he dragged across each zone, you see him pointing, communicating. There he is, and they passed him off to each defender. Ended up making a nice play, even though it was complete. And he'll get it down to the 47 here. How about a tip of the cap to the defense? They're working against a very mobile quarterback, but all day long they've kept him under wraps. And on that play, they held him to a short gain. So from Rams territory now, it's first and 10 at the 47. Here's Hurts to throw. And the Rams got it. They bring him down. Well, Aaron Donald just so strong, they can't block him. And he records the sack. Well, here's where having mobility sometimes can work against you as a quarterback. He thinks he can retreat and outrun the pressure. But that time, they zeroed in on him and took him down for a big loss, partner. A really big loss. Throwing on second and long. Hurts. Eluding the pressure right. Hurts fumbles it. And now the Rams have got it. Going the other way. Well, rough time for a turnover there. They give it away on their first possession in this second half. And what makes it worse, Brandon, is that they've already given away the lead in this quarter on the touchdown drive a minute ago. Now they run the risk of really falling behind unless their defense can bail them out a little bit. They'll be cheering for them hard from the sidelines. They'll run on first down. Akers, and nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. Fletcher Cox there for the tackle. Third quarter of a tight football game as we come up on a second and ten. Now it's Stafford. And he's going to go down. They sack him back at the 42. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. That's into the hands of Akers complete. And he'll be brought down, it looks like, right at the 40. They do get 18, but even that won't be quite enough. It's fourth down. Decision made for Sean McVay. They're going to go for it. On fourth down, Stafford. That's to his running back, complete. And he's taken down inside the 30. Boy, that's some kind of effort. When he caught it, I doubted if he could get there. Knew it was going to be close, but credit him. Really good effort. How about the rack on that play, the run after catch? But most of the time, we think of it as just being an open field and picking up yardage. Sometimes you have to be real physical in order to gain the yardage you need for a first down. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job standing in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. Hey, check, 
On second and seven, Stafford. And oh, that would get a wide up incomplete. Nearly an interception in the end zone. Probably should have been. Third down coming up. They head to the line facing a third and seven following the incompletion on second down. They'll run out of the gun with Akers. Stays on his feet and taking it to the 15-yard line before he's brought down. is going to do it for this third quarter of action. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and 10. They stay on the ground. This time it's Michelle. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown Rams. Sonny Michelle. A 15-yard touchdown run. And the Rams add on to their lead. We talk so often about how hard it is to win in the NFL when you turn the ball over. And here a late turnover leads to a fourth-quarter touchdown and a two-score lead. And what's more important is being able to take advantage when a turnover presents itself. You've got to come up with points to make the other guy pay. They're able to do so here. And they've got a pretty good chance now of winning this football game. the touchdown. Here's Gay to kick it away. They'll elect to bring it out here from the end zone. And he'll be brought down shy of the 20, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone, not a good one. The Eagles take over first and 10 at their own 18-yard line. The Eagles offense sent to begin their next drive. And you figure after giving up that last touchdown, you know, they trail by two scores here in the fourth quarter. This drive becomes very critical. Hurts throw here taken in as he's able to find Goddard. And he finally goes out of bounds across the opposite 40. A big play there on the catch and run. That's just flat out a beautiful throw right there. It was a rope. That's maybe the speed you would see on a slant, but he threw that downfield with that kind of pace. Now, if he throws that one with any type of arc, puts a little air under it, that play doesn't happen. He had to fire it in there, and he did exactly that. Touchdown, Philadelphia! Jalen Rager. 36 yards. And the Eagles have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. So how about that for an answer? They get the touchdown there, and it's back to a one-score game here in the fourth. And that's what these guys have done all game long because they've scratched and slashed their way to stay in this game. And by now, we should all realize they're not going away. Now the pressure again swings to their defense because they're going to need to find some way to get the ball back. Well, I guess the coach looked at the two-point cheat sheet, said go for it, get it to a three-point game, and they did it. Yeah, and sometimes you just throw out time of game. You don't worry about that. There's just a feel sometimes in making that call, and he felt good about what he had for a two-point conversion, and now they're only down three and feeling great about themselves. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. They've been rolling the last couple of drives, each inning in touchdowns. So this game is flipped. They were down. Now they're up with the football. We'll see how they handle it. Can we get a spy on the headset now between the head coach and offensive coordinator? They've been in attack mode. Had to get back into the game. Now they have the lead. Do you stay on the attack? Or do you dial it back a little bit to try and protect this little one? My combat answer would be somewhere in the middle. I think it's going to be a fine line, is it not? I think you're exactly right. But I do think if they can stay aggressive and keep them on their heels, they'll be best served that way. Here's a throw to his running back. It's complete. And he'll be out of bounds at the 25-yard line. 
Well, that should be a reminder defensively, and I think it's a reminder to myself because you just can't sell out to stop the run. There's still enough time that this offense can move the football through the air, even on first and second downs, and they obviously picked the right spot to throw the ball there. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. That's it. That's what you want. Straight ahead positive gain. Just keep that clock ticking. Clock continuing to run. They'll probably wind this all the way before snapping it on second down. Out of the gun. Stafford. That's out to the flat for Akers. And he'll be brought down right at the 30 here. They'll wind up getting just a yard out of it. And they're going to have a third down. Stafford. Now that'll be caught by Cup. And he is going to have a Rams first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it. So it's not that big of a deal to me. And I'm going to keep firing. And they get to him after a gain of six to the 46. Now the objective there, I mean, yes, the positive gain, that's nice, but work some clock. Yeah, you're exactly right, but the problem for them is still within a possession, so they can't just sit on it running the ball. They have to find a way to throw it effectively as well. Three points separating these two sides with two minutes left to go in the fourth. So it's Rams football here as we get your reset. They've got a second down now as they search for a way to get this one to the finish line. On second down and four, Stafford. He'll check this down to Akers out of the backfield. And he'll be brought down at the 45-yard line. Another catch for him there on this drive, Brandon. It looks like they're going to utilize him out of the backfield any way they can. And that time, they pick up a first down. So now on defense, do you assign a man to him and try and cover him before he gets going? The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. Throwing here, Stafford. And just not enough on the throw there. Down around his feet and incomplete. A lot of times it's that first read that you had. Maybe you get it in pre-snap and he locked in on his target, but he was covered quite well, and that one's incomplete. And they'll be in search of six yards here on third down. This is now the ninth play of the drive. Now Stafford. He's got the hook up to Odell Beckham. And he's going to have a Rams first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Now the Eagles will use the second of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with just over a minute to go in the game. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and ten. From the shotgun, here's a give to Akers. And he's across for the touchdown. And in the final minute, that should just about seal it. Well, that was absolutely ideal for them, wasn't it? Trying to salt this game away. I think one of my kids just graduated in the amount of time they had the football. That was absolutely impressive. Everybody wants those salt away the game drives. What makes them successful? Well, when you're able to mix run pass, when you're able to control the football and stay ahead of the chains, I'm using every cliche I know, <laughs> But that's how you get it done, because you're not taking negative plays, and that way you're able to run what you want to run when you get a chance to call it. Extra point by Gay is up and good, and his guys will take a 10-point lead. After the touchdown, it's Gay to kick this one away. And a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. 
They might be thinking this is close to a lost cause here. Got to play it out. What do they need to do? Well, they have a thought process in mind already, but they can't get ahead of themselves. They know that they need to score quickly. Yep, two-score game. Onside kick and get the ball back and then score again, but they can't worry about the last two points. <laughs> the only thing that matters is scoring quickly, then they'll take it from there. Pass complete, Goddard, and he's going to have a first down, but he's tackled inbounds up near midfield. The Eagles will take their third and final timeout as the clock will stop with just under 30 seconds left to go. Off the play fake, here's Hurts. Flushed out right. He's going to let it fly. And it's intercepted at the goal line. Snags it for the pick. And the Rams are going to take possession here as they've got it at their own four-yard line. A young quarterback, Charles, rolling to his right. I know he's right-handed, but is that one that maybe a veteran sticks in his pocket? I think so, but you have to remember with young quarterbacks, it may take a few years before they get all the stuff out of them that they did earlier in their career or even in their college days when they were used to being dominant. In this case, the NFL veteran defense ended up winning the battle. And some room to work. And bulldozing his way through. There he goes left side. The 40. 20. 10. And he takes it in for the score on the game's final play. So it doesn't affect the outcome. But a little whipped cream on top to their ending. Or as our friends in Bayou country would say, that's a little lamb yeah, a little extra on top. A lot of scoring. There's no doubt about that in this one, Charles. Points, they were not in a three. I'm ready for more. You fired up, I'm fired up. Don't run from rap. One, two, three. I'm ready for more. Tell them I'm ready, I'm ready for more. Game time. I'm ready for war. Tell them I'm ready, I'm ready for war. I just got 20, I'm running on empty. There's more where that came from, my money is silly. I feel it envy, not trying to be friendly. It is what it is, if you want me, come get me. Whenever you ready, no, I keep it steady. Yeah, I get the W, throw the confetti. Please do not tempt me, don't hold it against me. We about that action, don't ever forget it. Why the gorillas, the army, the navy? When I call a play, I'ma score like I'm Brady. The title is mine. If you want it, come take it. Hey, hey. I'm ready for 